Hello everyone, uh, it's Patrick from Nest Immersion. Today I want to show you a small tutorial to how to stream uh, directly from YouTube, directly to your dome, uh, passing through uh, OBS and Spout to OBS and Nest Map. So for, uh, for the beginning, so I will uh, restart everything. Okay, so of course you will need uh, OBS Studio, which is free. You can download the latest version. The other things you need is Spout to OBS, so you can easily find it. Just typing Spout to OBS, and you can go to the GitHub to get the plugin for OBS and you can go up to directly to uh, do, 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 the release page and download the version you want install it and then restart uh, OBS this way it will create a filter that you can use in any sources or scene to get um, a spout output from it. The next step you have to do is to set the resolution the, if you want. Donc, so um, if you go into video well, I set 2k per 2k uh, square format and just keep the output scale at the same resolution. Um, the output section we don't need it so just leave it like this and you can choose your frame rate um, 3D frame is okay so okay the next thing you have to do is to load a new browser which is kind of a um, web page so okay make a new browser and you have to set what is the URL uh, for the, the source so you can try with directly with um, with the URL of your video but what you have, what you will have is um, uh, and of course you can set the same resolution as set in the settings to get full screen and the rest you can leave it as is so the problem is um, the problem is if you do it directly with the URL from your YouTube you will have exactly the same thing, so that means you will have a bunch of stuff all around that you want it, you don't want it. So to remove it, you want to have the, full, the video full screen. So what you can do to get the full screen every time, which is a more re reliable way, uh, if you go into YouTube, you hit share, uh, and if you go in embed, you will see the, the code for an iframe, but we don't need all the code. We just need the link of uh, the URL here. It's almost the same link, but with uh, an embed um, code inside it. This means it's not exactly the same URL. This is exactly f what you want to. So if you go into your browser, And we change this very well for the embedded one. Click OK. And now it's refreshed and it takes the full screen at the full resolution uh, you set it. Um, now you want to play it, but if you hit play, it doesn't work. So if you want to control it, uh, if you select the browser, you should have uh, the interact button here. If you click it, it's just like a small um, web page, so you can interact with it. 
you can click play or you can scroll uh, where you want to just like real uh, web page now the video will start okay so now send it to um, to Nesmap you could send it directly with the filter from the source but I um, mostly recommend to send it by the scene for different reasons for example if you have if your video is not perfectly um, round shape or a square format if, if it's more a rectangular you need to stretch it in to fit into the, your scene and if you put your spot filter directly on your source you will set also the side that you want to cut so for the best result to work every time you just click here in the scene and add the filter just remove it to show you yes so you can add now you put the spot filter you should have it here if you install correctly the spot to OBS plugin add it you put the name of it yes okay spot filter that's fine. So now if you want if you go into Nesmap, hit play. And now you should have the spout output from your scene directly to Nesmap and of course directly to your dome. So now it's done. You can control your video with the interact window just play and et voila